Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is the BX Bomber 718, and I'm going to show y'all my um, computer that I built in April. Um, right now is July, so I built this back in April. Um, I got a lot of requests about, you know, what my build looks like finished, so I'm going to show y'all right now. Um, starting off, this is the Antec Mini P180 um, case by Antec. As you can see, and um, if you look here, you see there's an eSATA port, a USB port, a mic out, audio out, and a USB there. Okay, and top 200 millimeter exhaust fan on the back, there's a 120 millimeter exhaust fan there too. Okay, I'm gonna open it up using these two thumb screws here. Show y'all what's inside. This thumb screw right here. Okay, let's pull this latch off. And I'm gonna let you up here inside. Alright, so first thing here is the Zero Therm BTF90 CPU cooler. Um keeps my CPU pretty cool. Um if you know anything about the 45 nanometer um, Intel chips, you know that um, most of them you get two different readings for um, both chips. They're about a big 10, 8 to 10 degree difference between the two. But one runs at 27 um, idle and load, that one goes up to about 41, 42. The other runs about 36 idle and that one goes up to about 50, 51 on load. So um, underneath that is a E8500 316 megahertz 6 megabyte cache Intel Core 2 Duo E8500. So that's what I got for my CPU. Um, it's running at stock, and um, the reason why I run everything at stock is because it gives me better stability for what I'm using this PC for, which is gaming and music production. So, you know, I don't want no lagging and no freeze ups or no blue screens of death. Feel me? Next, here is the RAM. I got some OCZ Reaper. Rams. I really got them because I like the look of them because you can see the heaper cock sink sticking out there and that's running at 800 megahertz and um, the timings on that is 4.4.4.15 so that's pretty good okay and if we peer here you can see at the top it's my Sapphire ATI Radeon HD 3870 graphics card this is the toxic edition so it's overclocked to 800 megahertz on a core it also has the single sock cooler on there with vapor chamber technology on it and it really keeps it chilly um it idles at 40 degrees and gaming it can get up to about 60 65 but that's not bad for a single slot cooler all right um underneath that that white piece you see there that is my d-link dwa 542 a wireless and pci card Okay, and um, that one helps me to connect to my D-Link um, 625 router. Underneath that is my X5 Elite Pro sound card by Creative. Got a good deal on it. Um, after rebates, it actually cost me about $80, so I can't beat that. Um, underneath that, if you can see there, that gold plate, that is my TV tuner. It's an MSI ATI Theater 650 Pro PCI Express TV tuner. Very good, very good. Cost me about $100 for that. Okay. If you look here at the front, I got an intake fan by Antec. It's a tri cool um, fan. It's an intake blows air in over the sound card, the graphics card, and my two PCI and PCI Express cards. Um, if you look here, you see the 120 exhaust. I pulls air over the heat sink over my CPU, which in turn the heat sink CPU pulls air over the RAM chips and pulls air over my 640 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar drive up here. I got my 18x DVD RW drive by Samsung with light scribe in it. The motherboard, I pulled it from my previous build that I had made for me by ABA Direct. Um, it's a G33 um, chipset, which gives me um, integrated graphics on board. So if something ever happens to my 
my 3870 I have it as a backup but I pulled that from my previous board to save some money I also pulled the Samsung drive from it too so okay so let me bring y'all around to the back back here you can see the two antennas here those antennas right there that's for the D-Link PCI card I got a Belkin DVI cable coming out to the monitor that you see over there underneath that these audio plugs these analog audio outs are going to my headphone set out of my Elite Pro sound card then right there I got my TV tuner as you can see the two coaxials and the S-Video and it has a mic out I mean an audio out and that's my Antec so let me show you Antec power supply 650 watts people say it's overkill for my bill um, and I disagree you can never have enough power and two um, for any future upgrades I'm already set I don't have to get a new PSU so that's that okay if you look up here you can see all my stickers case badges and all that good stuff all right and let me open this baby up for you real quick all right at the top you can see my Samsung DVD or W all right you can see the first fan grill area here and the second fan grill area here at the bottom you can see my media card reader it's a five in one got it off eBay for like eight dollars above that is an empty 5.25 um, slot bay. I'm gonna throw a Blu-ray, LG Blu-ray drive in there soon. Close that up. All right. Next here you can see is my monitor. It's a 19-inch KDS, 1440 by 900 LCD display. It's a very good monitor. I paid about 189 plus tax on it at Newegg. I'm selling it, so if anybody wants it, it's um it's a hundred dollars shipped to anywhere in the U.S. So um, here I got the G15 keyboard with the LCD that shows me like things like fraps um, frames per second and um, my CPU RAM usage and also the tracks that's displayed from listening to a Windows Media Player um, I like the keyboard it has a nice like semi rubber um, tactile feel to it a lot of people don't like this keyboard because it doesn't come like in a blue um, backlight but I don't really care for it I mean most of the time when I use it the lights on anyone if it's out and it glows I don't care that it's orange. I don't have any colored fans in my case anyway, so it doesn't matter. Here I got the MX Revolution mouse, wireless, very good precision mouse, up to 1600 DPI, I believe. Right? Um, it doesn't take any batteries. You just throw it in this cradle here and it charges. Um, one good perk with the TV tuner that I got, it comes with this um, media sensor remote, you know, which has a lot of good functions on it. You know what I'm saying? This is a very good plus. And that TV tuner also comes with a FM antenna as well as a over-the-air analog antenna. Um, what I use for HD on it is this antenna here that I got from um, Circuit City for about $15. Um, very good over-the-air HD. From my location where I'm at, I get all the local broadcasts and probably about six or seven other stations as well with HD. So it's pretty good. That's my CD in case of all my games in it. Call of Duty, the original one, Painkiller, Crisis, Airborne, yeah. Dawn of War, which is my genre. I love that game. I got some cheapo mouse pad, but I'm going to replace that. But um, this is my build. I had made a video before this, which was much better than this one, but it was kind of long. Um, I might edit this video. I might make another one, but I'm just going to post it up for y'all so y'all just have something in the meantime until I do a better one. As you can see, I have everything on a table now. Because um, I'm about to move out. I have a computer table that I bought from Staples. Real nice, but I didn't get to set it up yet. I will when I move out, and I'll shoot another video for y'all to see that. But if you have any other questions, comments, or whatever, just hit me up and let me know what you want to know. I'll shoot another video if you want. Okay. There's everything there. If you want some benchmarks video, let me know, and I'll post that as well. All right? Thanks for watching, YouTube viewers, and don't forget to subscribe.